Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install and configure reporting data warehouse and analysis services in Team Foundation Server 2013 Update 4. Keep in mind there are uh, two types of, um, well, there are three types of installation. One is basic installation where these components are not really required. And the second is one server installation where all these components gets installed, including SQL Server uh, Express version um, on the same server. And TFS will take care of for you if you choose to do one server installation and the third is advanced installation in advanced installation what happened is that we install T team foundation server on one server and we install reporting services on another server that reporting services needs to be installed and configured on other uh, server and we install analysis services on other server and we went we go ahead and um, configure our team foundation server to take advantage of uh, reporting and analysis services and build the data warehouse uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you real quick that how to um, do that so this is my um, this is my team foundation server we're gonna use the administrative console to configure reporting um, and uh, analysis services and data warehouse keep in mind that um, uh, if you let me quickly show you let's open up the team foundation server console We have already configured Team Foundation collection. Uh, we haven't done SharePoint web application and we haven't done reporting services. So in this video, we're going to do the uh, reporting piece of it, which is warehouse database, analysis services database, and report server database. These databases will be created. And um, one other thing that uh, a prerequisite in order to use this, if you try to edit it, it's gonna um, ask you that uh, the few components needs to be installed and team foundation server those are SQL server um, client components let me show you real quick we're gonna go to control panel and see what components it needs um, 2012 if you're using SQL server 2014 um, or 2012 need 2012 native client and this is just a, a client SQL Server client. This is not actually SQL Server that I have installed on this server. My SQL Server is, is, is installed on another server. And uh, this is also some set of files that you need. Without these um, native um, client components, you won't be able to add it. You won't be able to configure data warehouse uh, database and analysis services database and report server database. But uh, just quickly, I'm, you need to have a SQL Server um, media or you can directly download the client components from Microsoft site and install it on team foundation server it doesn't take but uh, about like five minutes to install the clients and then you can go ahead and click on add it in order to configure that so let's go ahead and configure that click on add it as you can see right now uh, it's not configured so we're gonna go ahead and click on use reporting and we're gonna go ahead and choose the server that would be the SQL server where reporting services is, ins is installed so we're gonna go ahead and choose uh, TBS SQL that's the server name and if you have instance if um, named instance is installed on SQL server then you need to specify that so we we're gonna my instance name is SQL PROD and database um, we're gonna go ahead and um, TFS underscore report so we're gonna go ahead and test connection it says that database that you specify does not exist a new database will be created and po po populated for use with team foundation server which is okay that's exactly what we want if you have already the database and you just wanted to configure that you can uh, uh, put that uh, in there now keep in mind this is not the report server database um, few folks has uh, this confusion that this is the report server database and they give that because that report server database has uh, SQL server reporting uh, schemas but not t a team foundation schema so we're gonna configure this we need to configure all three uh, of these so analysis services we're gonna go ahead and give a TBS SQL server and here is my instance name SQL PROD and database 
DFS underscore analysis services and we're gonna go ahead and give the um, user that has permission to create database on analysis services where you install the analysis services on other computer in my case it's the uh, Tech Brothers SQL that is another server and I'm going to give a um, user that has permission to create the database on analysis services so same with the reports uh, if you up here you can go ahead and choose your uh, uh, if report servers uh, services are configured on the remote server you need to just give this a SQL server name and instance name if it's, in, it's instance and click on populate URL it'll do uh, uh, it'll create the um, uh, everything it will populate the re report server from that particular server and this is also when you do that it will make sure that it sees that report server the configuration that you've done on remote server so we're gonna go ahead and give the same uh, user that who can create reports default path is we're going to do TFS underscore report right here so this is going to be my default uh, default uh, port the path uh, so this is all you need to do and if you run into error uh, it'll tell you right here but we're gonna go ahead and click OK and uh, it should do all the configuration for us All right, we're gonna. It's configured. We're gonna go ahead and start the jobs. As you can see, uh, if you are doing first time, it's gonna start the job again. In another demo, I have done it. That's why I stopped the jobs. That's why it showed in the uh, first screen. But uh, this is how you configure a warehouse database, analysis services database, and report server in Team Foundation. I hope this video helps.